Welcome to this week's choice. Now, this is it. This is, this is it. one this of is the shows great. that I think we look forward to the most. We do. We enjoy year. this show because we enjoy just being out there and hunting and filming with the kids. And that's what this is. This is Posse Punks Week. This is Hogs and Gators. We got RJ, Danny, Addy, and Case all down in Florida. Osceola Outfitters with Uncle Hoppy. Lucky logo this week? Yes. Rocky. Get rockified with Rocky. And what do they got to do? At the end of the show, we'll tell them. Yes, oh, you okay. will. Yeah. You always do, Vic. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> so let's start off the bat. We're going to go down with RJ. RJ, he is up to bat. That's right. Check this one out. It's pretty special. I actually had sat in a stand earlier in the week hog hunting with Hoppy, and I had seen this big boar hog, and he had a diamond on his head, and he had these two white stripes on his face. And I came back that night, I said, RJ, I saw the neatest hog. He's got this diamond spot on his head. I said, he is really, he's a cool hog, and I didn't get a shot at him that night. And when he goes, well, I want to go hunting. I said, what do you mean you want to go hunting? I thought you wanted to stay here and play some more. And he goes, no. I want to shoot that hawk, Mom. Today on The Choice, me and my grandma are going hunting. And also, my mom is a camera person. We hop in the ground blind, we hop in our mare step choice ground blind, and it is hot, and we're rushing because these hogs are coming out before we're even, before Mike even drives away, the hogs are out. They're coming and they, they're, they're waiting. So we get in the blind and we're trying to set everything up and sure enough, old Diamond Head comes up and he's standing there and RJ's got his Wicked Ridge crossbow up there and Nani's being the guide now. There's opportunities at other hogs. There, I mean, they'd stand there broadside, nothing behind it, but he had his mind set on one hog. That's it, one hog. When he had a shot at the hog, he couldn't take it, or if he had a shot at the hog, the hog wouldn't be standing right. And finally, I said, buddy, I said, if he gives you the opportunity, you're gonna need to take it because we're gonna run out of camera light here real soon. They're, they're starting to leave, and the one, the, the diamond head, he starts walking, and he's quartering away. And RJ goes, I'm on him, Mommy. And I said, okay, go ahead, get your hog. And he, boom, he pulls that trigger, and he nailed it. Well, it took a while for me to shoot my hog. But I finally got him. I think this might be my biggest hog yet. I think it might be. I think you're right. Who's with you? Nani and Mommy. And what an experience he picked out this hog. He didn't want any others. And they were, I bet you there were four I would have taken. He didn't want them. He wanted this one. And I believe he got it. I shot I shot him about 10 minutes ago. You think it's about a quarter of a shot, you think? Okay. Bye. Where's that next one? What? Good job, buddy. You little man. And we watched together and watched together and finally he got the opportunity. It was alone. He took his time, got his shot, and it was a good one. So I'm so thankful to be here for this moment. Big hug for <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I got the sparky one. Oh, what are you called? You got it? Did you really <laughs> come <laughs> on? Come on, brother. Yes, buddy. He wanted that one. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Victory dance. <laughs> one thing I have to say to Case is who's redneck now? <laughs> <laughs> One of the best things about coming down here with Osceola Outfitters and Hoppy and the Kempfers and everything is, is the family time that we have down here. Our schedules are crazy, crazy busy. And when we get the opportunity to take RJ on a hunt with us and Nani too, but when we get to spend time like that, really good time with each other and family time and to be able to enjoy the outdoors and getting us all out there together, there's nothing better in this whole wide world. We are so blessed to be able to do that and to be able to take RJ out hunting with us. And we're blessed to have ever met the Kempfers. Way to go, buddy, you know, my little buddy. This is why we love to do what we do. I mean, he's out there, he's got his 10 point in his hand and he loves to hog hunt. Now, I mean, when we get down there, he wants it's, to hunt, he wants to play with all the kids too. Oh, sure, he's, he's but like any nine Once you get him kid. out there, it's done, it's over. And he's a hog slayer. But now awesome. don't go anywhere, cause when we come back, we got Danny Rush. Yes, she's uh -oh. up next. Oh no, so where's Joe? Anywhere. Got more girls.
Welcome back to The Choice. Now, like we said, it's Danny's turn. She's up, it's a girl, doesn't matter, she's going hog hunting. It's the kids. That's right. You know another thing about hunting down here in Florida that is so cool is the, the age restrictions. They're not restricted like all these other states where with their hunting. As long as a child is hunting with an adult that's licensed or, or legally hunting, they can actually hunt, not just go along. You get these kids hooked into hunting now while they're young, get them off the Game Boys, get them off the TVs, get them in the woods. Tonight, we got some big boars working into this feed here. And um, the weather has been killing us in this stand. We were in here two nights ago and the wind was shifting back to the road. It's right in our face tonight, isn't it? It has a good steady wind. As long as the rain doesn't kill us, we gotta get a hog, huh? You just smoked a fall, girl. Give me some love. Oh, God, I can't tell you. I gotta be you. Give me, my, give me some love. It was worth the wait, wasn't it? See, listen, if you went out every time and you killed a pig every time, it wouldn't have that excitement, would it? Mm -mm. You gotta wait a while. <laughs> Take your kids hunting. Don't say, oh, she's only seven. This is the time to hook them for life. Get them out of the video games, get them off the TV, and take them out and let them know. Let them know there's more to life and more in God's creation than the inside of your house or the local park. You've got to get them out. See the blind is right there. <laughs> that pig. She went out like what, Danny? Uh, ten yards. Click. One. Click. Uh -huh. Out like a light. Bob. Look at this. Come here, baby. Look at that pig. <laughs> Look at your pig. Look at your pig. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you put a perfect shot on that pig. She went 10 yards from where you shot her. We saw what? How, we saw, I don't know how many boars. This was the biggest pig in the crew. Uh, it was a big old sow. She doesn't have any piglets with her. She's dry right now. Um, these things are a major nuisance. With them being a nuisance, I didn't have a problem with her taking a sow at all because she didn't have any piglets with her. Vicky, that's one more for the girls. Way to go, Danny. Good job, now, I don't Danny. know about you guys, but does that not touch your soul? I'm, you know what? The best thing, again, is being able to be out there and getting the kids out hunting young. That is our future. Absolutely. Bottom line. Now, when we come back, right. <laughs> little yeah. Addie, Danny's little sister, is up to bat. Welcome back to the... Are you trying to shrink me? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Now we've got the cutest little button girl, huh? I oh mean, my she's... gosh, Addie is a doll. How about wait, that wait. laugh? Her little giggle is hysterical, but watch around her first hog hunt. I mean, she is ready to be a slayer. Priceless. What are we going to do tonight? I'm going to hunt. Hunt uh, what? A hog. You're hunting a hog? <laughs> about a year ago now, Addie started practicing with the crossbow, with her 10 point, but she just wasn't ready. And, and we told her that, you know, we'll give it a year and see what happens. Well, this year we came down with the Wicked Red, and she is just stoning that target. So we said, you're going hunting. And man, she lit up. She lit up so hard that she was actually talking in her sleep about hunting the next day. Five years old and she is ate up with it. I hope so, honey. It's 
Serious too. Hi, mommy. I shot one. Yeah. Tell her what it's like. It's gray and black. I shot one. You did? Give a big <laughs> A gray and black one. A gray and black one? It's a busted arrow off. Don't carry that. You gotta lick the blood on it. Hey. <laughs> get up there and get your piggy. Piggy. I saw him in the back like. I mean, no, you didn't. Fun. No, you didn't, honey. <laughs> it's fun hunting. What's so fun about it? Waiting. The way he was. <laughs> what did your heart do when that hog come out? <laughs> what did it do? Tell was me. Was it jumping? Uh huh. Or was it going? <laughs> way to Daddy, go, we are Addie. So proud we are so of you. proud of you. And mom and dad and Danny. I mean, the whole family, the rushes, they, they live this. And, and they that's hunt what's so together cool. together as a family, and it's awesome. And Megan, thank you for being there yes, and filming absolutely. it for us. That's now, cool. we're, when we come back, we're going to join the little redneck of Florida. <laughs> Case. Case. He's going to go on his first gator hunt, so don't go anywhere. The following segment is proudly brought to you by Thermacell. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, you got to understand, this the whole time, we had Case believing he was going to be a cameraman. Right. Because RJ was filming, you know what I mean? So, so he wanted to film. Right, but... Truth be known, you guys he were actually taking him gator hunt. He was going on his first know. gator so hunt. So check this one out. Case is our new cameraman, and uh, we're going to go out and see if we can get an alligator. Yeah. And uh, unless you want to fire him right now, what do you think? Um, do you think you can do this? Mm -hmm. Do you I think you can hold that? What do you think you could do better? Could you run this camera or shoot the could gun you better? Shoot better than you can run a camera? Probably. You think? You're fired. Give me that. You get the gun. Case is, uh, he's getting up in the age where he likes to go and he's on me, Dad, I want to get an alligator. I want to get an alligator. And we took him out the other afternoon and kind of surprised him with it. First time, he was excited to get the opportunity to do it. And uh, he was very excited about the whole thing. And I was tickled for him. I was proud of him. And it's an important part of their life. And it's, it's part of their youth development skills. 
We just saw a gator in a, in a pond back here in a water hole where the cattle are, you know, going into water. Wasn't a huge one, but you know, like we're looking for a management gator, six footer. This would be Case's first go at a gator, so we're gonna walk back, see if we can get set up, and hopefully he'll come back to the surface and give us a shot. Let's go. Wait, wait for me. Yep. Go ahead and get your shell and load that thing up. Here, I'm gonna put this one in there. Yeah. If he comes up over here somewhere, you just gotta rotate around, okay? There he is, right there in the shade. Go ahead and cock your gun, cock your gun. You see him, Case? You ready? Take your time, put it right on his eye. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah, that was good. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's your first gator? Yep. Huh? Yep. All right, buddy. Yeah. I knew you wasn't going to miss. Yeah. You, you practiced too much with the BB guns and the yeah. 22s and the bows and arrows, huh? Yeah, wow. I mean, you live here and see these gators all the time. No. What are you so excited about? I don't know, it's my first gator. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice gator. Yeah. How long do you think he is? Uh, six and a half, maybe. I think you're about right. He's about six and a half. Got all of his tail. Yep. You made a great shot on him, and yep. we won't have to worry about him getting any dogs or calves in here, will we? Nope. This was a, uh, a little watering hole the cows use, and this time of year, we don't have to worry about it as much, but you know when the baby calves are born, they come up here with their mamas and the mamas are getting something to drink, that's when the gators get them. Now, one this size probably isn't gonna take down a calf, yeah. but three years from now, he'll take down a calf. And, but you know when, the, when our cousins and your Uncle Jimmy's down here working yeah. cows and they get the dogs in here to get water, that's what's dangerous about these little water holes because they walk up here to water their horses and their dogs and the dogs get it, so. Well, good. Congratulations. Thanks. All right. Love you. Me too. Case. Good job, Case. <laughs> Is that kid a little rednecker? Oh I mean, my gosh, you're not kidding. But, but I mean, you know, we have heroes. Mm -hmm. Heroes are all of our military. Right. Anyone who's fighting for the right to, to, for us to wave that flag and to give thanks to the big guy upstairs. Yeah. Our second heroes are the parents, the parents who take the time out to get the children involved in this wonderful, uh, exceptional lifestyle that we know is hunting. Right, so I mean, Hoppy, Joe, Amy, all of those parents out there getting those kids involved early at a young age, thank Our you future. all, thank you so much. Now, if you happen to see the Lucky logo, which was Rocky. Get rectified. You need to log on to choicetv.com, click on the Lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great oh, stuff from some Rocky. great clothing from Rocky. Pretty cool. Next week's show? Next week. We, you've got to see this. The last, the 13th show, right. we are heading back up to Cashew Boy Outpost with Fern DeKitt, and Freddie and Robert headed up there this fall, this past fall. Rifle season for moose. On you cannot miss next week's Can show. Can you say emotional and not only oh. just Freddie? No, even This Robert. is very, a very, very special show. So thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.